All right, back to election 2020 and tonight ABC Action News is talking to very people who were hit hardest by this pandemic. Thousands laid off, still out of work. And all this week, our Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders is traveling all over the state and communities talking to voters, what they want, what they fear, and what's now driving them to the polls. Music is Lauren Long's job. Can you hear, can you hear the thunder? An Orlando booking agent, she and her husband, a musician himself, finding some harmony again. With things opening, um, it's giving us a little bit of hope. After almost losing it all, when COVID-19 protections nearly closed it all. Everything stopped overnight. <laughs> um, it was literally in a matter of 24 hours. Across town, another story. The situation right now definitely isn't ideal. Drew Vine, a Central Florida senior, losing a NASA internship to COVID, now wondering if a condensed economy will impact his job search. What's going to benefit the greater good, and I think, economically speaking, that's to open things back up. The struggles common in Orlando, the state's tourism mecca, the industry taking the brunt of Florida's total 1.1 million job losses, families downsizing homes, borrowing money, and using the state's broken unemployment system. It's been a very challenging time emotionally, physically, I mean, for everybody. A rotten economic Economic experience now a deciding factor for many in the upcoming election. About 22% of likely Florida voters saying the economy is their top candidate trait, according to recent polling. We know from research that the economy matters a lot. Florida State's Hans Hassel says economic concerns always rank high in election cycles, but 2020 is different. While Republicans have historically had an advantage on the issue. Our current uh, economic environment is kind of different because of the, uh, the virus and the pandemic that's ongoing. Um, and so I, it's hard to say whether or not voters will penalize the president as much as they normally would. The polling data available suggests a pretty even divide. About 43% of Floridians saying the economy is doing well, 48% disagreeing. The economic conditions have essentially washed out that fundamental advantage that Republicans would be expected to have. Both candidates offer drastically different economic platforms. The very soul of the nation is a state. Joe Biden wants a $15 minimum wage, higher taxes on corporations and the wealthy, and free community college. We're like a rocket ship. Take a look at the numbers. Trump That's promising to return to what was, keeping 2017 tax cuts, bolstering manufacturing, and further pursuit of new foreign trade deals. I wish there were other options, to be honest. Neither Vine nor Long say their choice for president came easy, but Vine believes Trump will prevent another shutdown. I'm definitely a capitalist and I, I vote for the economy. And Long is leaning towards Biden. After coming out of a worldwide pandemic, people want to see change, and we haven't seen a lot of it. This year's losses now instrumental on the ballot as voters hope the economy's sour note soon strikes a better chord. In Orlando, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.